today we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of a Husqvarna riding mower that are 12 years apart. Let's go check it out. Okay, so this one on the right-hand side, this is a 2010 Husqvarna YTH2348. And I got this from my neighbor for 200 bucks about uh, five years ago now. Uh, and I've been working on it uh, and using it every single year. And I just happened to purchase a brand new Husqvarna riding mower, the YTH 2246. So I'm gonna do a side by side and show you what are some of the differences between the two. All right, so first of all, we'll take a look at the old one, the 2010 model. So again, I got this from my neighbor uh, for 200 bucks when he had moved. Uh, and since then I've been using it probably every week, uh, hour, hour and a half. And I believe it has, it has approximately, if you can see that it's uh, 763 hours. And uh, it's a 48 inch wide deck. Uh, it has three spindles underneath uh, and underneath the hood we've got a Briggs & Stratton 23 horsepower engine. Uh, now overall this thing has been really really reliable. Uh, I've had absolutely zero issues with the engine. If anything it has all had to do with the deck. The spindles, uh, the blades, and the uh, the belt I've had to replace those and and rebuilt those many many times it takes a lot of abuse underneath there uh, replace the battery what I figured out is that if you leave the key in overnight it drains the battery so what I would do is I would take this out and and just hang it here uh, and it starts up really well uh, replace the spark plugs replace the the starter once before and had some some shorting issues over the years but uh, other than that it's been really really great but it's gotten to the point where <clears throat> it's time to upgrade you can also see the serial number here uh, with its model its product uh, and uh, it, it was built in Charlotte North Carolina Okay, and here's a quick walk around of the new riding mower. Like I said, it's got a 46 inch deck instead of the 48 inch. Uh, and <clears throat> underneath the hood, it's got a 22 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engine. You can see the serial number there. And the serial number here. Okay. Okay, the two lawnmowers are very similar to one another. I guess the, the one or two things that really stand out uh, right off the bat is the PTO on my old 2010 model is a push pull, whereas the newer models have this uh, this lever arm. Okay. The other thing that I noticed is that the gas the gas is on the old model is right over here on the side. So you got the gas cap here versus the newer model puts the the gas right there. So it's underneath the hood. And I haven't filled it up yet. No gas in there yet. The newer 2022 model, again, 22 uh, horsepower versus uh, versus the old 2010 model that has 23 horsepower. Now this ha does have 48 inch deck, so that's probably why it has a, a larger engine. Pedal placement is pretty much in the same, same spot. You've got your accelerator uh, and your reverse. This is your brake. 
You've got your accelerator and reverse pedal, your brake on this side. Okay, the brake is in the same spot, left hand side, with the parking brake right there. Same for the new model, there's your brake with the parking brake there. Look underneath the seats, we got the battery there on the new model and the gas tank. So really what they've done is they've swapped the location of the battery and the gas can. Uh, gas, uh, gas can. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at the setup and the differences underneath the chassis. Uh, so on the new Husqvarna, you can see we have, um, we've got a single beam suspension system. It's one piece right there. Uh, same as what we have over here on, on the older model. Okay. Let's take a quick look at the uh, front suspension. So here we have the newer riding mower. Control arms. Take a look underneath with the cover plate. And then on the older model, we have a very similar setup. Okay. So, not a huge difference there. In terms of the mower deck, this has two spindles. You've got a, a left and right spindle, and there's your. There's your belt configuration. I will say that the belt configuration on this older YTH2348 is a real pain. I mean, it's almost like putting together a puzzle sometimes. Uh, I don't, can't tell you how many times I've gone back and had to look up the way that the, the belt is, is laid out just because it is so confusing. So I'm, I'm looking forward to not having to worry about you know, how the, the belt has to be uh, organized. And lastly, what I like about the new Husqvarna made in the USA. Okay, so that's it. I just want to do, a, again, a side-by-side -side comparison of a 2010 Husqvarna riding mower versus the, the latest and greatest 2022 riding mower and show you some of the differences and advances what have really changed over the years. Stick around for some more. I'm going to go into more detail on my new mower, uh, how to start it up. Uh, I also have a baggage attachment that I'm going to hook up and, and unbox. And then I'll be doing some more videos on how it's running, maintenance, uh, and long term. So uh, like and subscribe. Thanks.